ionic compounds. These are compounds which are made up of a metal and a non-metal. Metal donates electron whereas the non-metals accept that electron. So due to which the metal gains a positive charge and non-metal gains a negative charge. Such compounds which are formed by a metal and a non-metal are also called electrovalent compounds. All of them have some common properties. Let us study about the properties present in almost all the ionic compounds. The first property is the physical nature. Generally, all the ionic compounds are found in the solid state and they are somewhat hard. This is because they are made up of two types of ions, positive ion and negative ion. And being opposite in nature, they attract each other a lot. So due to the strong force of attraction between the negatively and positively charged ions, these compounds are generally in the solid state. But they are brittle too. So when pressure is applied on them, they break easily. The next property is electrical conductivity. Generally, all the ionic compounds are good conductors of electricity because they form ions. But in solid state, they cannot conduct electricity. Because the ions are not very free to move in the solid state because of their rigid structure. But the ionic compounds can conduct electricity either in the molten state or in the aqueous state. When we melt ionic compounds, the force of attraction between their ions are overcome by the heat and they are free to move and conduct electricity. Whereas when we dissolve the ionic compounds in water, because of water, the force of attraction is broken and the ions are free to move in the entire solution. So electrical conductivity is very good in ionic compounds. But in solid state, they cannot conduct electricity and they will conduct electricity either in the molten state or in the aqueous state. The next property is melting point and boiling point. Generally, all the ionic compounds have high melting boiling points. This is because the force of attraction between the two charged ions is too, so strong that to break these strong ionic forces, it requires a lot of energy. So the melting boiling points are quite high. The next is solubility. These ionic compounds are soluble in water. That means they easily dissolve in water. But they are not soluble in solvents like kerosene, petrol, etc. This is because kerosene, petrol, other liquids are formed by compounds that are made up of non-metals sharing electrons. So they are called covalent compounds. But Water shows ionic property as well because water itself has two ions H plus and OH minus. Thus the ionic compounds which are also having ions in them will dissolve in water but not in petrol and kerosene because they are covalent. Like things dissolve in like things. Continue to watch free lectures on Topper. Subscribe and never stop learning.